Wings and Wheels hosts the largest glider classifieds in the world. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new glider or motor glider classified. To start, go to wingsandwheels.com, our homepage. Select Classifieds. Look for the classified sign in section. You should have already registered for a new classified account. If you haven't, click on register and look for the tutorial on how to register for a new classified account. Put in your email address and password that you use to create your new classified account. Click login. You'll be taken to your classified user dashboard. Select new listing. In the drop down category box, choose either glider or motor gliders depending on whether or not your sailplane has an engine. In the price box, only enter in a number, no commas or periods. For 130,000, I'm putting in 130,000. In the make drop down box, choose a manufacturer of your sailplane, then select. Next comes the model. Choose the sailplane model that you have. You'll notice after this there are four required fields. Year of manufacture, aircraft interior, exterior, and total time. In addition to these four required fields, you must enter or submit upload one photo before your classified can be approved. I'm going to put in my year In the aircraft interior and exterior, notice that there is a rating system of 1 to 5. On any of the fields, if you're unsure what you should be entering, click on the blue tooltip. That's a blue circle here with a question mark. For the aircraft interior and exterior rating, 1 means the aircraft needs major work. Uh, it is unflyable to the top condition which is 5 and that's a factory new condition. Do not overrate your aircraft interior or exterior. Factory new condition means it just came out of the factory or it looks like it just came out of the factory. Or you have reconditioned your sailplane to look like it just came out of the factory. What I'm going to do now is fill in all the form fields always complete as much information as possible and make it as detailed as possible. I've just filled in all the form fields including the four required fields. Certificate type I'm putting experimental. This sailplane doesn't have an engine. Airspeed Varion altimeter I'm putting in 57 millimeter. Of course if you have a 80 millimeter uh, opening. You put 80 millimeter for the large hole. Manufacturer's winter. I put in that it's knots. If it's uh, meters per second, indicate meters per second. Uh, the altimeter is in feet. Compass air path. Uh, flight computer is the LX9000. We have a uh, trig transponder and a Becker radio. Uh, it also comes with an OD2, a secondary flight computer. I put uh, other here, uh, tail dolly, if you have other equipment or avionics, be sure to include it in this section. For trailer, I put in the year and the manufacturer of the trailer, 2013 Cobra. This glider also comes with a one-man rigging system and a uh, wing wheel. No CG hook, but it does have a nose release. Mountain high oxygen, I have the serial number, last date that it had its conditional or uh, annual inspection, and the registration. The description is an area to put in information that isn't applicable in any of the form fields above. So if you have any important information, put it in here. I put always stored in a trailer, uh, outstanding HPH quality and craftsmanship. At this point, save and add photos. You are required to put in at least one photo. My recommendation is to put in the maximum of five. To add photos, 
click browse go to the place on your computer the location that you have your photos click on the photo open and upload the picture is going to be uploaded you have a maximum file size of 500 kilobytes you can upload a larger file we have a photo resizer that will shrink your photo down to a 500k file size if you are trying to upload an extremely large file it will take a while before the uh, photo appears notice this one's taking a little longer also if you have a slow internet connection it's going to take longer so it could take as long as one to two minutes depending on whether you have a very large file size and your internet speed I've uploaded five photos I have a couple pictures of the sailplane I have one picture of the trailer a couple instrument uh, a couple pictures of the instrument panel it's a good idea to have the instrument panel trailer and sailplane in your classified now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these photos as my primary photograph and that's going to be the the biggest picture on the classified when it's live so I'm going to choose this one right here it's going to ask are you sure you want to select this as your primary photo I'm going to click OK now I have an option here to either send the draft for approval if you're happy with the way it, it looks or save it as a draft if you save it as a draft, I'm going to show you this in a minute, you have to go back into your listings uh, and send it for approval after you're finished all your editing. Well, I'm happy with the way it is right now, so I'm going to send it for approval. It says send for approval, and I get sent back to my uh, user dashboard. Now, I put in one classified earlier and uh, I saved it as a draft so if you have a classified here saved as a draft what you need to do is uh, click edit and you can go in and you can edit your uh, your classified and it's basically I just duplicated uh, the classified one is a draft and the other is ready to be approved uh, notice here that you can when you're editing you can delete your photos by clicking on the red X you see how that's gone now uh, you can edit any of the details right here. Click Save, of course, after. And here is the uh, description, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my listings. This listing here is pending. It's waiting for approval. Once the website administrator reviews the classified and activates it, it's going to go to the top of the classified list. Be sure once your classified is sold that you log back, log back in and select sold. If you don't want to list it anymore, you can remove it. If you have not sold it before the end of 90 days, you must click renew and you can do it at any time. And that's going to renew your listing. Let's go back to our draft. From edit profile, click on my listings and you see that we have our draft this one is already pending for approval the website administrator needs to review this this draft will never get in front of the website administrator as a draft you have to change it to pending and send it for approval it's really simple to do after you've done editing you're happy with the way it looks click send draft for approval you'll get a pop-up box are you sure you want to submit this listing for review click okay if you have any other questions about the classifieds you can reach us by email wanads at wings and